Hello everyone, welcome again and today I'm going to show you demonstration of uh, another Spring Boot application and this is a uh, employee management system where we are managing the employees and uh, uh, from the technical side it's using Spring Boot like uh, the core technology is Spring Boot and uh, to manage the backend it's using Havanet JPA uh, to manage the backend to store the information it's using MySQL and uh, application is deployed over the local host Tomcat server it's using Tomcat server internally so this is my runner class so I'm going to run it and I will show you the demo uh, also uh, to operate the MySQL data information we are using uh, DB here MySQL database which has this database that contain the multiple tables user table for time employee leaves and department okay in the application there are two role admin manager sorry there are three role admin manager and employee we'll log in one by one and we'll see what the user can do okay so in order to run the application uh, just right click on the this uh, root like uh, application.java file here go to run as run it as a java application and spring boot will start the server and will assign a port number after that once the server is a start here everything is done it's a starting on 8081 after that you can see a context file context path here into your properties file which is employee management so you need to create a url with the port number 8080 so i am going to create a url now i'm going to close the other tools just, just going to open a new window and I just want the local host 8081 and employee management server is running so this is your home page uh, after the home page what we have we have sign up option and we have a login option under the sign up option what we can do we can enter the data currently i'm using the random data uh, you can choose a uh, fulfill the proper data select the depart department so here the data is coming from the department like uh, and here the type of the user currently uh, whatever the department is available into the database which will be display here when i view the department like you can see the admin department or uh, hr department let's suppose i'm updating the data hr department or, or whatever the data will add some data and will show so here let's suppose i just added some uh, random department and enter data and add i employ there so i just select a role as employee i hit this add button and if i refresh my user table now the data will be displayed here and it's registered as an employee another option we have a login so we have three types of login first is the admin employee and manager so first i'm going to log in as an admin user so I just enter username, I just enter the password and now when I hit the login button, what I can see, I can see the multiple options, multiple modules into the application. So what our admin can do, admin can add a new department, let's suppose I just added HR department and it's added and if I see the list, now I can see the HR department. Also the admin can edit this. Uh, let's suppose uh, HR R. I just add an extra R and it's updated the record is updated when I see the list it's updated also I can delete as an admin okay, uh, as admin I just deleted the admin one another admin can add employees so again admin will add the employee now um, if you see we have recently added this de department which is displaying here under the department it's directly coming from the database so again you can fill up the form and you can add a new employee and, and again uh, the employee list will be displayed here also you can do the edit operation or delete operation under the leave operation uh, leave module what we can see uh, employee or you can say currently i logged in as an admin so admin can uh, apply for any leave so let's suppose I'm going to apply for leave for five to six and the employee ID. So for which employee this admin is going to uh, apply the leave. So let's suppose I just applying leave for the newly added employee for this employee. I just added the leave and CLPL the leave type select is approved as admin uh, adding is it should be approved in process or cancel. Let's suppose I just put it as in process 
leave is added successfully now if i check the leave list i can check this leave is applied and personal all the details also as an admin i can edit or delete it under the work management section i can add a work so let's suppose put the same email id for the same employee i just added work for eight hours task description i can add the task description date of like day also if you noticed here uh okay uh, we can select the dates and after that we can approve like a uh, submitted of do border reject as a status so i just edit that i approve from the admin side and i can see the time sheet for that employee also admin can check data of the all the employees currently the data is not available in the into the database that's why it's not showing here i just hit the logout button now i am going to log in as an a manager or as an employee so let's suppose i just log in as a manager so what manager can do over there manager only log in by this credential and after that what admin can do admin can uh, sorry manager uh, we are currently we are logged in as a manager so manager can apply again for the leaves and manager can view the leaves uh, manager can edit update the leaves currently manager can see the view of uh, like leaves for the apply by the pen uh, employee manager can edit the time sheet manager can approve or edit the time sheet let's suppose this is uh, approved so let's suppose manager want to reject so manager can update the status here right here it's now rejected let's quickly log in as an employee and let's see what our employee can do so we are recently registered employee so with the same uh, employee i'm going to log in here and when i check uh, what our employee can do employee can apply for the leave but employee also can view the leave that's just applied but employee cannot edit or delete it so that edit and delete option is hidden from the employee profile and again uh, from the work management so what admin need to do what uh, like uh, employee can do employee can add a work detail so when i hit the add time sheet you can see that the the date email is coming automatically from the database for this particular employee so i just enter eight hours uh, let's suppose it's enter 10 hours i just enter my task description today's date and for for this employee because this is the employee so employee doesn't have access to approve the detail or reject the um, status so it can only see the option to submit it so and it should be submitted and this will be uh, currently it's submitted but admin can log in or manager can log in and approve this and after that it will be approved or reject accordingly so also the complete application is using proper validation so it means if you are not entering any data it will give uh, like uh, messages if you are uh, entering some invalid data it will give uh, like the fields is required or something so it's using proper validation this all about the employee management uh, and again it's a spring boot application spring boot and have on it so if you need the source code you can connect us over the whatsapp over the mail over the skype and don't worry about the configuration and all we have remote support multiple services are there we are providing the complete explanation of the uh, project if you are preparing for interview or for your final year project we will help you to understand the internal code as well so we can take the services uh, or uh, you can inquiry uh, over the whatsapp over the mail we will provide uh, like complete detail over there and don't worry about the configurations as i said i have we have a remote support so we will connect with you via zoom or in desk and we'll do the setup complete setup at your machine and it will work same as souls in this demo thank you